Let's say you're trying to get tickets to see Beyonce. So you keep hitting the refresh button again and again on the ticketing website. In tech, this is called polling, when an application repeatedly checks another system for updates. Polling is inefficient and consumes unnecessary resources. That's where webhooks come in. So what are webhooks? Webhooks are like the reverse API. Instead of your app initiating a request to an external API, the external system initiates a request to your app's endpoints when something happens. In simple terms, polling, you keep asking for updates. Webhooks, you get notified only when something changes. Here's how they work. You provide a URL endpoint to a service. Whenever an event happens on their side, like a payment, a user sign up, or an update, they send data directly to your URL without you asking for it. Let's see a webhook in action. Imagine you have a Slack app that listens for certain keywords or emojis in a channel, and it automatically takes actions based on what people post. For example, if somebody reports a bug in Slack and adds a ticket emoji, that app instantly creates a Jira ticket for it. Here's how that works. You create an AI agent that turns Slack messages into Jira tickets. Then you deploy it and it gets an action URL, which acts as your webhook endpoint. Whenever somebody adds a reaction like a ticket emoji or posts a message about a bug, Slack sends an event payload to your app's endpoint URL. This acts like a webhook, delivering information in real time without needing to pull. Pretty cool, right? So when should we use a webhook? The Slack to Jira emoji is just one example. But here are some other common scenarios. For example, with Stripe. When a payment is successful, Stripe sends a webhook to your server with payment details so you can activate a subscription, update your database, or even send confirmation emails. Or with something like GitHub. When someone pushes code into a repo, GitHub can send a webhook to your CI-CD system and trigger automatic deployments. Think of webhooks as event listeners for your external services. So why do you even need them and why are they so important? Because webhooks make your applications real time and efficient. Instead of constantly pulling an API with, hey, did anything change? You just wait for the webhook to notify only when something actually happens. Ultimately, webhooks are great for three things saving server resources, automating your workflows between apps, and providing you real-time notifications for your users. And that's a quick overview on webhooks, what they are, when to use them, and why they're essential for modern web development. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more Postman content. Thank you for watching.